before we start, I have the same video, um, same problem, same finite difference method solution solved in MATLAB on my channel. So if you've seen that video and want to know how to do this in Python, you can skip to about seven and a half minutes of this video. If not, and you're watching it the first time, you, you can just stay put in. So this is a spring mass damper system. Um, we'll be modeling it um, using this equation of motion. And we're going to use a finite difference approximation method to solve this or model this. There's some values. The k is just a spring constant, 1,000 newtons per meter. Mass is by 10 kilograms. And c is the damping coefficient. Uh, you can think of it as. Uh, this as a car suspension um, you're going on a bumpy road and um, there's some excitation uh, um, y function which is a step function uh, 0.1 at one second uh, the amplitude is 0.1 before that is zero and we're trying to figure out the mass uh, um, of position this is the x value uh, we'll go over the finite difference uh, method real quick uh, let's say you have these uh, x uh, function of t time and you have your solution is basically this black line <coughs> and let's say you you, you have these uh, arbitrary numbers on the solution at a very small interval um, uh, delta t but let's call this one as uh, <coughs> these three points we look at it three points so uh, and call, call these points, uh, this one here, k, the middle one is k, k plus 1, and k minus 1. And the distance between these two, uh, k and k plus 1, will be delta t. So if you use a backward difference approximation method, you, for the first order, say x dot is basically equal to xk, which is the middle one here minus the previous point the k minus one over the distance between which is delta t so if your delta t is small you you get a good solution now we use a forward difference method use the point ahead of k which is k plus one and you subtract it from x at k and you basically divide it by delta t. And central difference will be the k plus 1 minus the xk minus 1 over 2 delta t because the distance between those two points is 2 times delta t. This is, this is a very good way to solve any differential equation. Uh, let's look, quickly look at the uh, second order approximation uh, formulas. I mean, there's a whole table out there that actually looks at third order, um, fourth order um, approximation uh, equations. Uh, so what you do is, if you want to find the second order equation, you just take the uh, first order of the backward difference method and you divide it by delta t squared, which basically equals to xk minus 2x, k minus 1, plus x k minus 2 over delta t square Oops. and same thing for forward difference method 2 I'm gonna quickly just write it down it's x k plus 2 minus 2 x k plus 1 uh, plus k over delta t square I will look at uh, soon how are we going to implement this and uh, solve this differential equation? <coughs> Delta t squared mean. All right. So I have this table right here, and uh, we'll just we'll just use this table. So this this is the equation of motion equation uh, for our damping uh, spring mass system. <coughs> All we gotta do is, uh, in this case, we'll just use a backward difference method. But you could you could use any of the three uh, 
methods to solve this, but we'll just use a backward difference method. So all you do is just substitute um, these values for x double dot and x dot, and um, and then you basically just solve it. So we'll just quickly do that here. So m so x double dot is basically just the x k minus two x k minus one plus k minus two. over delta t square and next k is just x minus k minus 1 over delta t squared same thing this is a big k the uh, spring constant and th the other k's are just our um, indices that we'll be using on our code so, so after you substitute you simply find the um, common xk like this so m over dt square plus c over dt plus k now you just uh, find the common uh, xk minus 1 which will be just um, negative 2m uh, dt square over c over dt plus just xk minus 2 will be over just m over dt square. Uh, we'll do the same thing on the right hand side. Uh, c dt plus k plus y k minus 1 minus c over dt. Uh, for simplicity uh, we'll just uh, let's say call this part here a1, a2, we'll call this a3 and a4 and this one's a5 so we'll just use simple algebra and um, just um, solve the equation for xk and we'll bring everything to the right hand side so the way it will work will be just uh, um, 1 over a1 times minus a2 xk minus 1 minus xk minus 2 over a3 plus and a5 so we have this equation we're going to use this equation in our code so let's go over to the code all right now uh, let's do the coding part in python to try to solve these equations the first thing you have to do is you have to import these two libraries to this uh, code uh, which is import numpy and uh, import matplot library.pyplot. Uh, I'm not really going to go over how to import these into your uh, IDE. I'm using an uh, PyCharm IDE, uh, but there are a lot of videos out there how to um, add libraries to your uh, IDE. But these are the two libraries we're going to be using for this code. Um, so you import those. After importing, you simply define your uh, variables, um, which is the k coefficient. Oh, I'm sorry, spring constant, mass, and your jumping coefficient. The next thing we want to do is we want to define our time step. Um, we'll basically define our time step to be really small, which is delta t. Uh, point zero zero one. Yeah, smaller the number, smaller the time step, better uh, solution we'll get. So we'll say point zero zero one, and uh, we'll also define a time array from zero to five seconds. So what you want to do is uh, you set t equals to numpy a range zero to five at the interval of dt point oh one. So once you define a time array, you same thing. You have you want to define your um, y function array. Say numpy dot one, the length of t. The length of t is basically zero to five, which is five thousand zero to five divided by point zero one. So that's five thousand. So the array length will be five thousand. 
and to create the step function we'll simply just do this well, I'm not sure if there's a better way to do this but probably I found it pretty easy saying 0 to 1000 basically saying 0 to 1 second y is going to be 0 and from 1000 to 5000 which is 1 second to 5 second well y is going to be 0 0.1 very simple we'll also define the array for our x the displacement and now we want to also define the initial condition for our displacement which is zero in this case and also our initial condition for velocity which is also zero uh, once you do that you can simply also define your a, a1, a2, a3, a4, a5 variables so, which we figured out to our in calculations a few minutes ago and after that you simply define the loop I'm going to use for loop we'll say for k the k here is the indices and our bigger k is uh, on the spring constant so we'll say k in range from 2 all of its length t and length t is about 5000 and you want to put these uh, colon here and that's how we know the loop starts and make sure you write this equation you enter you want to keep this indentation here because that's uh, the python format for in order for the loop to work so we'll simply copy paste uh, the xk equation that we solved um, xk 1 over a1 times all that Oops, well, we don't have to end the loop or anything, it just loops so once we get out of the indentation we want to also define t again just so we can plot it just dt times numpy a range for the length t um, and now we'll simply just plot figure and see what the results are um, say so we'll say plot figure one um, plt dot plot which is plt is our we're saying we're going to import this library and in this program we have imported and given it a short name calling plt and in that we're calling this function plot so plt.plot same thing plt.figure and we're going to plot t displacement and t and also the step function in the same graph uh, we'll quickly go ahead and label these as well so typed these up here I'm just going to copy paste them same thing we're calling the plt library and we're calling the x label function and we're going to x label the x axis time y axis displacement and uh, we'll give them a legend as well which one is which title and then uh, plot show and it will show us the plot now also in these cases t numpy dot a range I'm calling this library this one I don't have any short name for it this is just numpy and I'm using a numpy dot zeros and I'm calling the zeros function from this library so we're gonna go ahead and uh, run these I'll just right click and run this see what we get there you go so here it is it's from 0 to 1 nothing's happening the orange one is our y function at point 1 it gets to oh sorry if 1 second is equal to 1 second the answer goes to point 1 and our system tries to follow it but it overshoots then undershoots and it will overshoot again and then it gets to the steady state um, we can change that a little bit we can play with our values let's let's double this up and uh, see what happens we can say our damping coefficient two to be 200 
and now I'll run this again. There you go. As you can see, now there's less of an undershoot. It overshoots once, and not that high of an overshoot either. It overshoots once, and then goes back to steady state. So that's, that's a good way to um, model these mechanical system in Python and kind of like change the variables and develop and optimize your system uh, to your liking the desired results that you want. I mean, you can do this in MATLAB as well, but if you don't have MATLAB or Python, that's the open source software option. You can achieve the similar results, and you get basically the same kind of graphs and options and stuff. So, I mean, just find that difference method is a great way to solve any differential equation, um, and unlike the analytic solution, uh, analytic method to solve differential equation is much better. Uh, I would encourage you to use these. I encourage you to use these a lot whenever you want to solve differential equation. Great tool, Python. And, uh, thanks for watching.